Morning folks, Andy here. Welcome back to the boat build. Just carrying on doing some more work in this uh, stern section. So we've got this framework. It's just tacked in just to see if I've got it right or not, done some measurements and what have you. And once that's correct, well it is correct now, I think I've got it right. So I'm going to mark it all out because we've got to cut it so there's a, it's one continuous uh, channel all the way around and it can flow out the boat at this end, the water that's going to drop in and the large space in the middle that's uh, going to have the, the aluminium uh, durbar plate cover on it for, so you can get to your engine, you know. And then on that far side, that, it will drop down to the door there. It'll be plated along up towards the door opening, and, but then we'll step down. So I'm quite happy with it now. It's just tacked in, so I'm going to mark it all up take the sections out and uh, cut the channel so it uh, can then be welded up and uh, it all flows around the water. So we're going to get on with that. Right, so I'm going to take my chalk and draw around where each one of these sits and then I can uh, get it on the bench, grind and tack off, get it on the bench and um, we'll get it uh, cut out with the plasma. We'll just, just number them up so there's no guesswork. Then when you're pulling it back, you know you've got things the right way around. That's it all marked up, so we'll get going and get them out. Right, that's lot, that lot cut out. We'll just uh, get a fettle, clean the rags off. Right, we've got the outlines there of this channel, so I'm just going to just renew them on the inside. So. So what we have is that's the externals of the channel, that's the internal. So what we're going to remove is that hatched area there. And then it'll be welded up in a solid channel all the way around. So I should have four of them. Yeah, four of those take out and then two on the side of the boat so the water can flow out there. Right, we're ready now to cut them cut out. So we'll uh, get the plasma on and hopefully it works okay after the repair.
Okay, so just three to cut out on there. So the cut round, I've just got to fettle up bottom it, clean them out, and then that piece will be welded. Don't forget where your PPE. And I'll just grind these up now, and then uh, we'll have a look. So this outline here is where the channel meets this side plate. So what I'm going to do is we aren't doing the full width of that. We're going to do half of it internally. So you've got 75. That will do it. So the 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 wee pole is going to be there. So what I'm going to do is pop a couple of holes here and here, 14 mil. So I get a hole at each end. And then we can cut the line out in between. <clears throat> then we'll get a slot. Because once this is in, I'm then going to put a plate up here. So the plate on this back side will fit like that. So, and then the top cover will come in and go down like that. The removal cover. So you just need a slot like that to allow the water out and hopefully with mag drill I know it's a bit curved but I'm hoping it's going to hold on there and I'll just be able to do it with mag drill if not I'll do it by hand so we'll have a go anyway Right, so it did work. Curve on there. I'm going to put it on a bit of an angle here. It, it had enough clamping for because there's a slight radius on it, obviously, over that distance. So now I need to do is join them up. So I'll get the other side drilled and uh, then we'll slot them across. Right, so we've got both sides drilled out now. So all I'm going to do is join them lines up. So then we've got a slot and then I'll use a die grinder and uh, flatten it all out once the, uh, once the channel's across and what have you, we'll tidy it all up then. So I'm just going to cut them now with plasma.
So that's that. And then there you go back in there. That's it. So we'll get the welding set on, etc., and uh, we'll get all this frame working. And I can use my brand new Powell True Color welding helmet, <laughs> which are fantastic. I've already got one on my Airstream one, but uh, not only the Airstream on, and uh, it's nice just to have one you put your head like that to do. You know, you're not welding for a long time, and it's fine. And the True Color helmets are brilliant. Right, that's the, just sat on a bit of steel that, so you can see the cut out now, so that joins that one up, that goes down here, so that's first bit just sat on, now we're going to put them all back in now.